Both Wolfort and Hyzant join forces and begin planning Glenbrook's recapture. But with the Norzania River and the Esfrosti armies in their way, retaking the capital will be no easy feat. <coughs> Roland proposes they infiltrate Whiteholm Castle and take out the enemy commander. Why did I get so old? <laughs> Though a risky gambit, like, it is well I worth it if we can destroy them all in one fell swoop. I'm a pretty nice guy. The others agree For now. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a pretty nice guy. For now. In support of House Wolford. Yeah, well, I'm a pretty nice guy. Marches forth for the for first now. time since the Salt Iron War. Prince Roland, there is something I'd like to ask you before our mission. The Nasket. Why do you really want to infiltrate Whiteholm Castle? To prevent needless harm to the capital, of course. And to exact revenge with my own hands. Is that it? Roland, you know you can confide in me. <sighs> I... I want to save Cordelia. She's bound to get caught up in the violence if we launch a full-scale attack. But if we can sneak into the castle, <coughs> we might be able to get her out. I know this is a war to reclaim our kingdom, but I cannot rid myself of such selfish desires. Contemptuous, is it not? I understand the burden of leadership. Perhaps it would be easier if we could but purge ourselves of our hearts. But as your vassal, nay, as your friend, I would not want the company of one so void of emotion. We will save Queen Cordelia. Together. My friend, I cannot thank you enough. Okay, let's see here. Looks like we've got a side story here at Whiteholm Castle. So it says, Anna investigates the warship at the docks of Whiteholm Castle. There's but a single longship docked? It would take one blast crystal to destroy and their escape route with it. Heard Hyzant send in a massive army. Are we gonna be all right without the Archduke? I wouldn't worry. Not with General Avlora on our side. Her I trust. Thallus and Erica on the other hand. Huh. Shh. Not so loud. Who knows what they'd do to you if they heard that. So Gustadoff isn't here, but Avlora, Thallus, and Erika are. All right. Uh, so next main storyline here says Cyrano and the others commence Roland's plan to explode the Asfrosti warship. Minister Saranoa, Minister Camsell, and myself have brought what troops we could muster. I am grateful for the reinforcements. As you should be. Hyzat hasn't mobilized this large of a force in 30 years. There's no need for delicacy with this many soldiers at your disposal. We could fell the enemy with a frontal assault. 
Though it seems you have some other ideas in mind. We do. The city and its people will suffer greatly should we brute force our way in. Instead, we will infiltrate Whiteholm and take out the Asfrosti commanding officers. And how do you plan to do that? Via some secret passage none but you are aware of? Just so. The same way we snuck into the castle when the capital fell. An effective strategy, I'm sure. Though recent intelligence suggests Gustadolf has returned to his homeland. In which case we shall target Prime Minister Thallus and Erika. And General Avlora. We'll have Milo destroy their ship with the blast crystal to prevent them from escaping. <sighs> what a devious trick. My favorite kind. The castle will be easy to take with those three disposed of. Very well then. We shall do it your way. We would like the two of you to distract the Asfrosti forces with your armies. When their attention shifts to the front, we will slip into the castle. Very well. May fortune smile upon us all. Hyzant's forces have entered Castle Wolfort. It won't be long until House Wolfort makes their move. Meaning they're coming here? It's hard to believe they'll soon be in the capital again. My queen, I must advise against considering them allies. Lord Saranoa is now one of Hyzant's saintly seven. Not to mention they're raising arms against the seat of their former sovereign. They want justice. They want the royal blood that runs through your veins. So you think they seek to make a puppet of me as well? I do. But you needn't worry. They will not breach this castle so long as I protect it. Indeed. A battle is upon us, but fear not. I shall protect you. General of Lore speaks true. Yet I still want to believe in House Wolfort. Brother, give me strength. Hyzant and Wolfort begin to put their strategies into action. Draw the eye of the Asfrosti forces, the Hyzantian army encircles the crown city of Glenrock. Meanwhile, Serenoa and his retinue, Elfric in hand, will steal into Whitehome Castle. Hyzant's forces are on the move! They're coming for the capital! To your stations! Minister Exham's created quite the distraction for us. Let's make for the harbor first. Anna says there's only one longship there. We can use the blast crystal to sink it and cut off their retreat. Okay, uh, so next up is our exploration phase. So it says, Serenoa and the company infiltrate the harbor in order to destroy the Asfrosti warship. There are fewer soldiers than I expected. They want us to load up art and jewels from the merchants? What nonsense is this? Lady Erica commanded it. She plans to cut and run if things get real ugly. It's ridiculous, I know, but imagine what she'd do to us if she found out we disobeyed. Ah, oh, fine, fine. Get the bloody merchants. Perfect. I'll disguise myself as a merchant and search the ship. Once I find out where they've stationed soldiers, we can get Milo aboard. Let me go. 
They won't look twice at me. I would rather you not take that risk, my lord. You and Eridor have too much gravitas, meaning I'm best suited for the task. And what about me? The task I need you for won't come until later. I understand. Good luck, then. Hide yourselves. We'll find each other after. That man will stop at nothing to win, will he? Consider me charmed. Huh, okay, my little's got it. What was that? A thing for was that Benedict? <laughs> um actually I don't I don't know that it's Benedict or if she's saying that of I that must be Sarah Noah she's referring to. I mean that's that's my take. Um, <clears throat> all right. Anyways, you there, merchant? Help us load this ship. Yes, sir. At once. I'd best survey the area before they see through my disguise. All right, so I saw something. Yeah. All right. So we've got some coins uh, back here, and uh, <laughs> I love the merchant outfit. It reminds me of uh, Octopath Traveler, and uh, was it Tressa? I think was her name. Uh, all right, let's go up here. There's a thousand coins. Uh, what's up next here? Ooh, uh, excuse me. Let's keep doing the water here, yeah. Uh, extra large HP recovery pellet. That's pretty solid. There's a luck amulet. Uh, let me see here. Foster. Who's gonna have a luck amulet? Um, you know, <clears throat> it's probably. Oh, it, was, it was only an amulet, right? Luck amulet? Yeah. Well, that's a bit of a shame. I think I'm gonna give this to Travis, though, for now. Uh, I, man, I, uh, I, I, I did a lot of attempts, uh, steel attempts, in this next battle, and I did not have any luck. Um, so I want to try to bump up his his luck a bit more. I don't know if I'll end up uh, keeping that on him, but uh, I don't you know I don't really like uh, losing the speed, but I think it'll probably work out better uh, to just you know go for go for higher chances. But uh, all right, let's head on to the ship here and uh, try to find more. Oh, there's something. Quality fiber was found, but your inventory is full. Let's see here. Looks like it's just one. All right, so let's go back to the encampment here. <clears throat> when he's running around uh, as a merchant here in the uh, encampment too. Hopefully they, these two don't have a fist fight, right? Uh, what was it? Quality fiber. Uh, let's see here. Quality fiber. Yep. Oops, just one. Um, also, here, let's, uh, let's take a look. I think he does have some, yeah, he's got a bunch of new stuff here. He's got, wow, a lot of large HP recovery pellets. A bunch of new extra large. Uh, but the things I am more interested in are these bracelets. Uh, so he's got one of, it looks like all of the, of the bracelets. So I'm just gonna buy these. I'm not gonna actually equip them right now. I'll do that, you know, probably off screen. Uh, because I don't know who I'm going to throw this stuff on quite yet. But that looks like that's it. Yep, yeah, and then no new superior uh, materials. Alright, so let's go back. We'll finish out this uh, exploration phase. There it is, quality fiber. Um, let's see here. Is there anything up top here? Probably not, huh? Nope. There's a cure all pellet. Okay, let's see here. 
Let's talk. I gotta stow the guys on the ship. Ship is plenty well protected. You just keep loading the cargo. Uh, there are an awful lot of merchants about for such a sudden request and so late at night. I pray there are no ruffians among you. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Busted. No time to talk, lad. They want us loading these at a brisk pace. Uh, how much can one ship hold? No matter how much we load, there's always more. Keep loading and quickly. Lady Erica's orders. All right, so here's added uh, uh, the, the Marvels of Norzelia, Volume 9. Uh, I didn't... Yeah, because I, I actually haven't... Or I didn't take this path the first time through. So we actually do have... Let's see here. A couple of conviction choices, too. That looks like that's it, though. Um, did I, talk, I think I talked to... Oh, no, I missed this guy, didn't I? Just this large shell keep my finances in order for quite some time. Okay. I already talked to him. All right, so let's do our conviction choices then. Fellow merchant, hehe, <laughs> the future is looking mighty bright with this sale. So it is, yes. It was not so easy gathering so many fine workers on such short notice. Fine works, my good man. Tell me you didn't sell genuine articles. Our buyers, Lady Erica, the most selfish and capricious of all of them. Counterfeits are good enough for her. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, in my view, a merchant should be fair in all dealings, no matter the client, or so you've sold her fakes. Bold of you to try defrauding the duchy. Or wouldn't that be better to sell the Archduke's sister your finest and make a good impression? That's, yeah, those are all pretty solid. <laughs> I'm going to go out here with the, the Liberty choice. I want to see what he says. Uh, bold of you to defraud the duchy. Fine. She has no eye for authenticity. Authenticity, Else I would have sold her a genuine article, which is her fault. If you take the Esfrosty view, only the strong or the keenest eye, if you like, survive. Yeah, man, that uh, that kind of mentality reminds me a lot of Jade Empire. And always, it's funny how many, uh, how many games are... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's just so... Uh, the, the, basically, it's the closed fist philosophy, right? It's like the cl the, the strong survive is, is essentially the way they look at it, and uh, it's funny now how that that game like solidified that sort of mentality. And now, you know, anytime I see a reference made, you know, in that way, it just reminds me of of that game, which is you know, it's a phenomenal game. So, anyways, uh, but do what you will in commerce, there is freedom. Though I care little for Esfrost, I must say I respect their rather open disposition. Okay. Uh, this is an extremely important mission. Our car cargo must make it to Esfrost. Though I find it odd that a warship be tasked with transporting art and jewels. Uh, let's see here. That which you take from Glenbrook is sure to enrich Esfrost now, or... I suppose that simply makes Lady Erica a fierce defender of the arts. Or should the worst come to pass, really, it is the people who would need protecting. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. You needn't tell me that. What's more, the ship was originally built to, to ferry soldiers to safety in the event of a retreat. Lady Erica understands nothing of this, of course, and Lord Thallus would never deign to entertain the thought of defeat. The iron will of Esfrost shall never bend, though the two of them certainly test it. Nevertheless, we will succeed as long as we press our attack, and I have no doubt General of Laura will see to that. Okay, um, cool. Well, that's going to be it for this uh, exploration phase, so let's call it a day. That ought to do. How are things progressing with the ship? We've learned the enemy's position. If we can draw their attention, we should be able to get Milo aboard. Hey, you there, merchant. Sorry about this. I'll inform my commander you'll need reparations. What the? Who are you? Damn. Okay, uh, that looks like that's going to be it for this one. Uh, I do believe a new uh, mental mock battle is available now. Yeah, I got some stuff that needs taken care of. Uh, so it'll be the Crimson Fields, and that'll be the next video. 
Um, but that is all the time I've got for this one. As always, hope the guide was helpful, and thank you for watching.